What is up guys, Toby here with another video about the Sony PlayStation View. Now this video is going to be all about making the most of your short 7 day free trial to see if it's going to work for you. Now if you haven't watched my other video, that one's going to tell you more about the service, what the cost is, what the channels are that are included and how it works. I would recommend checking that one out. Um, you don't have to watch that before this one, but it might be a good idea. Uh, so. This is uh, the PlayStation View service. Uh, right now, you're watching live TV on the Velocity channel. I'm using a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 4 controller uh, to do this. So, the reason I wanted to do this video was to show you how the service works, what it looks like, and how to make the most of the short trial. So, I do apologize. The video... Uh, this is definitely a different method of recording, so uh, you may have to tilt your head a little bit uh, to the side. But anyway, uh, at the top of the screen, you're going to see we have Search, we have Explore, Guide, Settings, and then this is me, Toby, on uh, the network. So we're going to start with... Um, now, what we're on right now is, is Home. But we're going to start with Guide. And that's going to take you to what looks like your typical um, kind of a... a guide that you might have on your current TV service. Now, you'll see here at the top, I have favorites and I have all channels. Now, when you first start up, you're not going to have favorites. That's what we're going to do first. I recommend you start with all channels, and they are alphabetical. And I recommend the first thing you do is go through this and decide what channels are going to be your favorites. So as we scroll to the right, um, again, I've already moved most of the channels that I want as favorites. But I'm going to move to the right, and I'm going to find something that I want. Okay, so I want to put ESPN um, as a favorite channel. So I'm going to press the, the square, or the box, on the PlayStation controller for details. And now in the upper right-hand corner, uh, you'll see I have a plus symbol to add a show. Or I can go to the ESPN logo and select that. And now I have a heart, which will allow me to add the ESPN channel to my favorites. And that's done. I'm going to hit back twice. And we go back to the guide. And you'll see that it's dropped ESPN under my favorites. And again, it does alphabetical. So you have your favorites in alphabetical order on the left. And then if you move to the right, you'll start with the all channels, which are channels that you have not set up as favorites. So I recommend doing that first thing. Go through all channels. And if you're using a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 controller, when you're on the channel, you hit the, hit the box. You go up to the logo. And then go up to the heart to add it to your favorites. Do that until all of your favorites are done. Now you can use the, um, the left trigger to go back page by page. That's a quick way to move left and right. But again, you may be using this on a different device, a different way, so the, uh, the navigation may be different for you. But... The next thing I recommend is starting to select the shows that you watch and put them in My Shows. Because when you put a show in My Shows, uh, it's basically like setting your DVR to record that and it will keep it for 28 days. Now one show that a lot of people will want to set as their favorite will be The Walking Dead. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm going to scroll down on the guide, go to Sunday. I know it comes on at 9 p.m. so I'm going to go down to 9 p.m. There's The Walking Dead. So I'm going to select that. And you'll see I've already added this to my shows. If I had not, you'd have a plus symbol here next to the AMC logo. Now, one thing that I really like about this service is that when I pull this up and I select this, it then gives me options below. You may like. So here I have Fear the Walking Dead. Now, if you see the little check mark uh, below the picture and above the AMC logo, that means I've already set this as a favorite show or as my show. Now, if I wanted to also set Supernatural, I would go to Supernatural, select that, go to Add to My Shows, and now Supernatural is added to my shows. Again, once I'm in Supernatural, it gives me other options. I may like Grimm. I may like Castle. So I'm going to go to Grimm, add to my shows. It's giving me other options. Blind Spot. 
add to my shows. Law and Order, Colony, Bitten. And you'll see there's Gotham. I love Gotham, so we're going to add Gotham to my shows. And everything that I add is going to automatically be recorded uh, basically for, for four weeks. So that's a quick start guide. You're going to want to set up your favorite channels, and then you're going to add your shows. Now, you can always go to search, and I could search for the show here. So if I wanted to find The Walking Dead, I could do it this way. Now, this is obviously fairly cumbersome, but again, there. Two, two letters, and that's all that it took for it to find it. And I could select it, and I could choose it from here. Again, I'm going to go back home. So now that I've added my shows and I've added m my favorite channels, from home I can move down and you'll see it now shows me all of my favorite shows. Different shows that I've added as my shows. I can go back to exit that and I can go down to favorite channels. So now I have my shows, I have favorite channels, Or I can go to all channels. So from the home page, you have what you've recently watched. You have live TV features. You have your shows. You have search. Explore allows you to go in and say, I want to look at TV shows that are automotive in nature. Ah, oh, Wheeler Dealers, I like that. I don't wanna watch it right now, I wanna add it to my shows. And now Wheeler Dealers will be recorded, basically kept for four weeks. So, again, the real key is gonna be setting up your channels, setting up your shows so that you can decide is everything I'm looking for everything that I watch currently available and one of the things that I found very helpful is that it really did seem to give me some good references so if I go to what's my car worth the you might like section was very helpful because if I if I watch Automotive shows, I do like unique rides. So I want to add unique rides to my shows. And if I like that, then I do like bitchin' rides. So I want to add bitchin' rides to my shows. So I found this You Might Like feature very helpful. It's very easy to maneuver. I can go to Home. I can go to the Guide with just single presses. Now you will notice here ABC is on demand, your network channels are on demand. Um, so if you select that, it takes you in and it shows you those shows. However, you can also set these as your shows as well. So even though it may be on one of the on-demand channels, you know, I can still add these to my shows. So. I can't tell you if this is worth it for you, but I will say for me, with my current DirecTV bill over $100 without any premium channels, $45 is very tempting. You could also connect an over-the-air antenna if you wanted to just be able to turn the TV on and, and just flip through a couple of channels. That is always an option as well. Um, but hopefully this has helped you decide if the PlayStation View service works for you, maybe something that you want uh, to try. Um, it is fairly easy to set up if you follow these ideas. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you in the next video.